Hey, my name is Monika, I am Polish Nigerian and I am in Poland today, um, in Torun. Yesterday I was in Warsaw. I came to Warsaw to become a Nigerian. You know, but let me talk to you from Warsaw and from the ground, preferably, <laughs> because this is a bit dangerous. But you know, this place is so cute, so I just wanted to show you a little bit. Ugh. But today is about Warsaw and the reason why I was there. To cut the long story short, uh, my dad was never able to um, produce a Nigerian passport for me when I was a child. So now that I'm a grown up and I started traveling to Africa, this year was my very first time, I decided that I would love to have a Nigerian passport. Well, um, when I traveled to Ghana, which I did do this year, 2021, and Towards the end of the year, I'm going to travel there again, most likely, um, if I'm able to. Um, each time I have to get a visa. Uh, it's £100 if you are getting it for six months and you can only stay for 30 days and you have to uh, send your passport and your documents to the embassy in London um, and you have to wait for about two weeks to get that back. So, not the most convenient and, is, and it is expensive. So. That, for that reason and a few others, um, part of it being me wanting to um, travel to Nigeria and explore Nigeria for myself. I have never been, I really hope to be able to go soon. The Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab says he's alarmed by widespread reports of civilian deaths in Nigeria. Boko Haram on the rampage earlier this year in northeast Nigeria. Nigeria is in the grip of a kidnapping and a death. Heavily armed gangs terrorize cities, towns and highways. There are approximately 250 ethnic groups in Nigeria. The major ones are Hausa, Yoruba and Igbo. Even though the official language of Nigeria is English, over 520 native languages are spoken throughout the country. Nigeria produced some exceptional minds celebrated all over the world. For instance, writers like Chinua Achebe or Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. One of my favorite books is Half of the Yellow Sun by the latter. Then there is Nollywood, the Nigerian film industry, which is the second largest globally, well, reportedly. As described by BritishCouncil.org, Nollywood is best understood as referring to the process of filmmaking in Nigeria, where the films are produced using any and all tools available, adequate or otherwise. This can mean creating movies in volatile and uncertain conditions, often with incredibly short turnaround times. Nigerians are very resourceful, vibrant, they are hustlers and go-getters. I think that's what I like about the people the most. You know, if you know anything about Africa, you had been to Africa or you know about it from the source, then you do know that the Western coverage of what is happening on the continent is not balanced. Uh, bad things do happen there. However, there are also many beautiful and amazing things that are happening in Africa, in Nigeria. And those are the things that we never hear about on the Western news. For that reason, and the other one that I mentioned, I want to get a Nigerian. I want to get the Nigerian citizenship, which I should be able to do because my dad is Nigerian. However, things aren't that straightforward. Uh, ideally, I should do it in Nigeria with my dad being present, but it's not that easy. I tried to get that thing organized in London, uh, quite challenging. Um, for a long time, the embassy wasn't really responding to any of my emails. The Nigerian embassy in Poland does not produce passports. Um, but for the lack of a better solution, I decided to come back to, to come to Poland, or rather to Warsaw. I came to Poland for another reason, but I came to Warsaw specifically to go to the Nigerian embassy and to, yes, to begin the process. And I was able to do that, which I am so, so, so happy about. I received a letter of introduction or recommendation, I think it's called, uh, which I now can use to proceed with my passport application. I would love to be able to see more of uh, Warsaw, but 
Um, I can't because I don't have much time. I have to go back now uh, to Szczecin. <laughs> I had been here twice before, but even then I was not able to do much of that. I'm not going to be able to do a lot of the sightseeing that I would love to do in Warsaw, but the few things that I was able to do, I really enjoyed. So at the Nigerian embassy, I met two people, um, a Polish woman and a Nigerian guy. Uh, they were there to request um, a marriage permission. We had to wait for a long time. So we were talking and talking and just exchanging experiences. I mean, it's super, ex it's, it's, it's so, I love to talk to people, especially from different um, places, you know, from different, different countries. Poland is still behind many other European countries in terms of um, multinational variety. But I think, you know, we are, I mean, it's always great to meet people from other, um, from other countries in Poland and races and cultures. Speaking of that, um, I had the pleasure of attending a um, concert of a pianist. <laughs> Was it Marcelo? Marcelo Silva. Um, oh, he's a Chopin pianist. Uh, Chopin is celebrated in Warsaw, uh, in Poland, but in Warsaw specifically. And um, oh my God, it was such a beautiful concert. Another interesting thing about him is that he is um, Polish Bolivian. So his father is Bolivian from um, Bolivia and his mother Polish. And it was great to see that um, there are Poles in Poland who are just like me, kind of mixed race. Uh, he was obviously Latino and Polish. And then at the end of the day, I decided to go to a um, coffee shop called Out of Africa. Out of Africa. I'm trying to find a place where I can talk to you without people looking at me. I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, I'm going to end the vlog here for now because I don't want it to be too long. But uh, if you are interested in my time in Warsaw and most importantly in my journey to becoming a Nigerian, please subscribe and press the notification bell not to miss the future posts. And yes, let me know what you think about uh, this video. Did you find it interesting? What did you find the most interesting about it? Like, share, or just stay with me. And thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you.